Hey YouTube, the Chem Fanatic 93 here with my first chemistry related video. Today we'll be taking a better look at the properties of sulfur and some things you can do with it. Now, what you can see here is that this is some elemental sulfur, a four ounce container purchased from United Nuclear. Now, before we start going into anything, I'd like to say that United Nuclear is an amazing site. They have great products, it's all reagent grade, chemicals, elements, you name it. They have laboratory equipment, other such things that are just really amazing. So, getting into the whole aspect of sulfur here. Sulfur, in its elemental form, is essentially odorless. When you take this compound and you combust it, the two compounds that mainly cause the stench that most people associate with sulfur are sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Other than that, elemental sulfur has essentially no scent whatsoever. So we're going to demonstrate what it's like to melt down some elemental sulfur here. So what we have is a container filled with 91% isopropyl alcohol purchased from any drugstore, whatever you want really. A container for melting our sulfur in. Pliers to help to hold on to the container due to the fact that it'll be, well, very, very hot. And an ignition source, and not forgetting, of course, the all-important elemental sulfur. So, elemental sulfur in powder form is actually crystalline. It's arranged in a crown-like arrangement where eight sulfur atoms are bonded together in crystalline form. And when you melt it down and you rapidly cool it, what you get are these long polymerized chains of sulfur that aren't able to get back into that crystalline form, so you're left with what's known as plastic or amorphous sulfur. Now, we won't be able to demonstrate that today because, well, I haven't had the time to get a container in which I can put the sulfur in, a nice cold bath to quickly cool, cool down the sulfur here. But what we can do is take a look at what it's like to burn sulfur or melt it down. So first, what I'll do is I'll attempt to light this. Hopefully the wind will cooperate with me today. Ah, oh, there we go. Not terrible. It's a good start. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll take our reagent grade sulfur, place it down here, which I'll take some and place it into our container. Now, as you can see, it's a very nice yellow powder. This is high quality, you know. You can purchase this, well, this one, this particular bottle, the four ounce bottle, was $6. It's not terrible. I mean, there are a lot of other companies that could charge a lot more. Different, you know, chemical distribution companies such as that. But United Nuclear, I absolutely adore. They have amazing chemicals and elements that they offer. So, we are going... Oops, a little spilled a little bit there. That's not terrible. It's easily picked up here. So, what we'll do is we'll gently heat this over the flame. Now, sulfur melts at a fairly low melting point. It's easily reached with any sort of flame. You could do this on your stove, oven, whatever you wish. Although I do not recommend it at all. <laughs> because the byproducts of melting down sulfur are hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide, as well as sulfur trioxide, which is fairly toxic. Sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide smell absolutely atrocious. It's what the, uh, you'd, the biblical depiction of hell itself smells like. But here we are, melting down some of this sulfur. I don't know if you can see, but we're getting a little bit of some, mel we're getting some melting going on here. It's like a caramel color. You can see it there. You know, it melts around the same temperature as water, I believe. As the same temperature that water boils. This is fairly simplistic. You can see it's really going now. And these, these byproducts that we're getting right here, the smoke is um, hydrogen sulfide and uh, sulfur dioxide. Which is really disgusting, by the way. It smells a mix of uh, gunpowder residue and fireworks really I can see it's really runny like black it's really gross stuff really all right so now we've hit the point where 
sulfur trioxide was being produced and that's not necessarily a good thing because sulfur trioxide is actually very toxic it gives a choking burning sensation to the lungs it's something you do not want to be messing with like you can see this is really black this stuff has melted so much it's what you have is all the oxides of sulfur in here like dioxide and trioxide <sighs> yeah this stuff's pretty disgusting I'm trying not to inhale this the best I can. Although I am wearing some facial protection here. I am trying to make myself safe here. Do not want to go around inhaling sulfur trioxide because as we all know, it's not too healthy for you. So as you can see, it's not that hard to melt down. And well, that's essentially it really. We'll just observe this for a little bit longer I suppose. Never hurt. Don't want to heat it up too fast because I don't know if you can see, but there's like this yellowish gas being produced. That's sulfur trioxide coming off of this as it melts. This is some nasty stuff. Now, <laughs> here's a little uh, tidbit for you guys. Um, I am just starting to get onto the whole reagent grade chemical chemistry scene here. This is uh, something new. I've been fascinated and downright enthralled with the topic of chemistry for well as long as I can remember and I've always wanted to create you know synthesized chemicals and explore the properties of different elements and this is uh, my beginnings of doing so so what I hope to do eventually is save up eventually is uh, save up enough money and I will purchase from United Nuclear of course a full lab kit like a glassware kit with a burner and all that stuff, so we can do this in a much more professional area. But as I'm just getting started with these YouTube videos here, I'm getting new, getting used to all this, but uh, yeah, it's very interesting, and I'm glad that I'm starting to do this. Getting myself out there, starting to get meet other people that are interested in the topic as much as I am. And yeah, I apologize if there's been some ranting and just utterings that make no sense whatsoever as I'm trying to... Uh, you know, make this video. And I hope you all enjoy my doing so. And I'm, well as of right now, I'm open to pretty much any, any suggestions for experiments that people wish for me to do. Within the realm of sanity though, I don't want to be, uh, you know, synth synthesizing uh, hydrofluoric acid. No stuff like that, nothing crazy. I mean, experiments with stuff such as like sulfur hydroxide, I mean sodium hydroxide and other stuff such as that. Yeah, I'm totally okay with that. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope to see you all very soon.